My name is Brandon Clark, a uh, farm in Logan, Iowa, um, with my brother Eric. Um, we've been farming since 2005. Um, we, grow, we grow corn, soybeans, and a few acres of alfalfa. Um, so the reason why we, we looked at Wave um, originally was as a fertilizer attachment. I really like the, uh, the close proximity to the center of the row unit with the, the fertilizer placement. Obviously, um, we, we farm a lot of contour ground, a lot of curves. So I didn't really want to stretch my row unit out. And so that was the thing that first intrigued me was that the, 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 where the Wave fertilizer placement was, was, was super far back from the center of the rail unit. I wanted to be able to move the, the starter out of the, the seed trench because uh, we wanted to go maybe to a more economical um, starter program that uh, our main uh, P and K source isn't coming from the starter, obviously. So we we're just using that to jump start the seed um, in the cool wet soils. So when we went to um, moving you know the, the starter van three quarters of an inch away from the seed trench uh, we did move to uh, a, a cheaper price starter fertilizer uh, that was a little bit um, had a higher salt content that i maybe would have not felt comfortable running in the furrow i still use both types of starters in trials and i haven't seen a, a yield difference and it's saving me five dollars an acre um, over what my previous starter fertilizer cost so that was the real reason why I first started looking at it. It wasn't necessarily for the closing attachment part of it. Uh, like my tiny closing wheels, you know, they were doing a good job. Uh, come to find out, you know, we were probably losing some air pockets and stuff because of the way that the trench was being smashed down. Uh, we ran the wave uh, as a prototype last year. Um, and like I said, originally it wasn't for the closing aspect, but that was really the thing that, that took me by surprise was how well the closing aspect of it worked. The, the seed to soil contact that I'm seeing with this um, it is phenomenal, really. Uh, it, when you go to dig every seed that I've dug up, I mean, it's fully enveloped in soil, uh, moist soil, uh, it, and it really, the, the closing aspect of it does a, a great job. And, and I wasn't like I said, I wasn't looking for that, but uh, that's got to be my favorite feature. And uh, I mean, the sand counts that we're seeing this year, uh, I, I planted a lot at 33,000, and the sand counts that I've done so far, I'm finding 32 and a half, 33,000. Uh, you know, they're coming up even, and they're all coming up, and it's really surprising to me. Um, I haven't typically saw that in the past. Uh, I saw it last year, again, when we ran the prototype, um, and this year I'm just even more impressed with it. Uh, just, it does a fantastic job of closing the seed trench.